Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi took part in the second India Nordic summit hosted by Denmark. He interacted with the Prime Ministers of uh, the Nordic country, focusing on issues of common interest like post-pandemic economic recovery, climate change, and of course the India Nordic cooperation in the Arctic. Our principal diplomatic correspondent spoke to the Prime Minister of Iceland on what the second edition of this summit means for the India Nordic relationship and the key takeaways. Listen in. With me is the Prime Minister of Iceland. Ma'am, welcome to Vyond. My first question to you is, uh, how was your conversation with the Indian Prime Minister? It was very good. Uh, we were talking about our bilateral relations and possibilities to deepen those relations. Uh, not least when it comes to climate, uh, what we can do together, for example, in the area of geothermal energy, carbon binding and more areas to achieve more results uh, dealing with the climate crisis. Mm -hmm. uh, but when it comes to the climate crisis, how can Iceland, which is a world leader in, uh, in, in terms of geothermal energy, can help India? Well, we are very happy to be able to share knowledge, uh, share innovation with India and there has been some cooperation of Icelandic and Indian companies. I think we should do more in that field. I think we can also do more when it comes to carbon binding, where Iceland has been working on very interesting, innovative solutions to bind more carbon. Uh, India has uh, an ambitious goal to uh, achieve net uh, zero emissions and carbon neutrality and I think uh, in, when it comes to climate, all nations must work together. It's, it's the example on how we really need to focus on international cooperation to achieve results. Mm -hmm. How much was there the discussion on the Russian invasion of Ukraine, something that has shocked Europe? Yeah, well, we talked about that and it has, uh, it has shocked Europe. Iceland has condemned that invasion. It is uh, brutal and, and uh, terrible, really, to see uh, a sovereign country being invaded by another. Uh, we talked about the importance uh, to achieve a peaceful solution there. It doesn't look too good right now. Uh, it, uh, I don't think anyone is optimistic right now. Uh, but we are seeing the drastic effect of the war on Ukraine and the Ukrainian people, but also on, the, on all our countries. Uh, simply, it has, really, uh, it has really changed everything. Mm -hmm. How do you see India's chance? How do you see India's role? Do you see India able to mediate between Ukraine and Russia, given that India has good relationship with uh, Russia? Well, uh, everybody should do their bit, really, to try to find some solutions there. Um, and I, uh, Mr. Modi was very clear of India's vision that there needs to be peace uh, in the area. In, in the area, uh, but there are other worries as well in the Indo-Pacific, the, the Chinese aggressiveness uh, um, with India and China, you know what has happened at the line of actual control. How do you see uh, this development in the Indo-Pacific? How much is that a worry for Europe and for Iceland? Well, I think uh, obviously we are following that development and what we are seeing, you know, Iceland has this uh, amazing place that we are considered to be the most peaceful country in the world. So we really know that peace is the precondition for prosperity. Mm -hmm. And therefore, when we look at the war in Ukraine, when we look at uh, wars around the world, we really see that they are pushing us back in time when it comes to progress and prosperity. So yes, we are following it. And Iceland is always an advocate for peaceful solutions. Mm -hmm. I'm now talking about the India-Iceland Connect. There are movies which have been shot in your country. It's a tourist destination. It's, it's a world which everyone likes to go in terms of many things as tourism, as movies. How do you see uh, Iceland as a destination in terms of Indian tourists? And perhaps what are you doing on that? Well, we are very happy to welcome uh, guests from India, uh, as from everywhere else in the world. Uh, obviously, the tourism in Iceland was hit very severely during the COVID crisis. Uh, but now we are having guests again coming to our country and very glad to receive them. Uh, I think uh, Iceland is a very small country and part of its uh, attraction is that it's so small and, and so few of us living there. So we try to obviously control that, but, uh, but it's a, we are very happy to share the unspoiled nature and wilderness with mm -hmm. the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. How do you see about the Indian culture? Do you do yoga or I mean, how do you see uh, yoga? Because I remember that yes. Iceland supported India when it comes to making uh, sure that yoga day comes to reality. Yes, we have done that. Um, it's a very popular Yoga is very popular in Iceland. Uh, we mentioned it. 
Mr. Modi and I <laughs> before in our meeting. Um, it is uh, very popular, and I think uh, there are so many. You know, for example, we have had a, a guest lecture teaching Hindi in Iceland for the last years, and I think there are so many interesting areas when it comes to culture, uh, where Iceland and India can actually deepen their relations. Mm -hmm. And the last and final question: When can you uh, can when can we see you in India? Hopefully soon. <laughs> Hopefully soon. I welcomed the Indian president in Iceland in 2019. Then we had two years of COVID. Hopefully this term I will be able to visit India. Thank you so much, ma'am, for Thank speaking you. to Vion. And I, I met you last time in Stockholm. Meeting you again in uh, Copenhagen. Yes, yes, me and yes, I'm meeting Mr. Modi again. And I think this is a very good format. The Nordic Prime Minister's meeting with the Indian Prime Minister. It's a very important format, actually. Oh, thank you. Thank, so you. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. So that was the Prime Minister of Iceland speaking to Vion in Copenhagen, Denmark. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.